We've been told that saturated fat is unhealthy. It's claimed to raise cholesterol and cause heart attacks. But many recent studies indicate that it's not really that black and white. Now in this video, I'm gonna look at whether saturated fat is actually good or bad for your health. Just so we're on the same page, let's look at what saturated fat is referring to. Fat molecules can be either saturated, monounsaturated, or polyunsaturated. Those terms refer to the number of double bonds in the molecule. You can see in this image, saturated fatty acids have no double bonds, whereas unsaturated fats do. Now, monounsaturated fatty acids have one double bond, uh, hence the term mono, and polyunsaturated fats, uh, they have two or more double bonds, hence the term poly. Fats that are mostly saturated, like butter and coconut oil, are solid at room temperature, while unsaturated fats, like uh, olive oil, uh, are liquid at room temperature. Why do people think that it is harmful? Back in the 20th century, heart disease was fast becoming uh, the number one cause of death in developed countries, and it still is today. Researchers learned that eating saturated fat increased levels of cholesterol in the bloodstream. This was an important finding at the time because they also knew that having high cholesterol was linked to increased heart disease risk. Now this led to the following assumption being made. If saturated fat raises cholesterol, uh, A causes B, and cholesterol causes heart disease, that's B causes C, then this must mean that saturated fat causes heart disease, that A causes C. This hypothesis, called the diet heart hypothesis, was based on assumptions, some weak observational data, and animal studies. The diet heart hypothesis then turned into public policy in 1977, before there was any strong evidence it was true. This marked uh, the widespread belief that saturated fat caused heart disease, and is the reason people are still told that today. So does saturated fat cause heart disease? As a cornerstone of modern dietary guidelines, uh, the heart health effects of saturated fat, uh, that topic has received an enormous amount of research funding um, since they were implemented. Large review studies consistently find no link. For example, two massive review studies, one from 2011 with uh, about 350,000 participants and the other from 2014 uh, with data from almost 650,000 participants, found no link between saturated fat consumption and heart disease risk. The latest systematic review and meta-analysis looked at data from uh, 636,000 unique participants, um, which accumulates to over 6.5 million person years of follow-up in total. And the authors concluded that there was a very small or neutral overall associations of butter, which is uh, high saturated fat food, uh, with death, heart disease, and diabetes. They went on to say these findings do not support a need for major emphasis in dietary guidelines on either increasing or decreasing butter consumption in comparison to other better established dietary priorities. Lastly, I want to mention this 2015 Cochrane review of 15 randomized control trials. This is like uh, the gold standard evidence uh, in the medical literature. Now they found that reducing saturated fat intake had a very small impact on risk of heart attack, but no link with deaths from heart attack and no link with incidence of stroke either. Now that small reduction with risk of heart attack, um, but not death, uh, is seen when you replace saturated fats with unsaturated fats. So it does not imply that saturated fats are bad, just that certain types of unsaturated fats, uh, mostly omega-3 fatty acids, they are protective. Overall, the evidence seems clear that saturated fat is not bad for you, uh, it's, it's just neutral. Just because it's not bad doesn't mean it's good. Some people like to twist that data to uh, justify eating enormous amounts of saturated fat, but saturated fat is it's just neutral for health. It's not good for it. Keep in mind that majority of data available looked at people using normal amounts. That is everyday ordinary amounts like adding butter on toast or just having it along with other foods uh, like people might, may have done in the last uh, century. Um, that doesn't give you the green light to eat you know, a bacon, butter, coconut oil diet. Actively trying to eat more saturated fat foods is not recommended as it could very well be harmful. Uh, there are plenty of nutrients that are healthy when consumed in reasonable amounts, but when people start mega dosing them and eating them in isolation, it can cause serious problems. Fructose is a really obvious example. It's good when found in nutritious, fibrous whole fruit, but a disaster when consumed in concentrated amounts from refined sugars like you'd get in soft drinks. It's entirely possible that saturated fat is the same. Fine in reasonable amounts, but harmful when we start eating unnaturally large, concentrated doses that are way outside of our evolutionary norms. People with certain medical conditions may want to minimize saturated fat. Keep in mind that the results of studies are particularly large observational studies of hundreds of thousands of people uh, are based on averages, okay? And saturated fat, on average, does not raise heart disease risk. However, within those averages, there is room for individual variability. Some experience less risk, and some experience an increased risk. 
Now this includes individuals with a genetic disorder called familial hypercholesterolemia, as well as people who have a gene variant called APOE4. Now these people may want to minimize their saturated fat intake just in case. With time, the science of genetics will most surely discover more ways in which diet affects our individual risk of disease. So there you have it. Is saturated fat healthy or unhealthy? It's neither. I wouldn't worry about it in everyday foods, but on the flip side, uh, please don't go eating it in extreme quantities. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, and don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.